Am I the asshole for spending $70 from our joined account? My boyfriend and I moved in together about three months ago. Recently, we got a joined account for grocery shopping. The plan is we both put in $210, so we have $420 for the entire month. A $420. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend, we were having a movie marathon at my brother and sister-in-law's, and I baked a cake, some buns, and bought some snacks. We were running low on some staple things such as eggs, milk, and flour, so I bought this as well. I also bought some spring rolls for an easy dinner, as well as a big bag of dates that will last forever and be used for lots of stuff. It all came to around $70. Today, while I was at my brother's and my boyfriend hadn't arrived yet because he didn't feel like watching four movies in a row, my boyfriend wrote me a message with just my name. Not Nothing else. He normally never uses my real name unless I've done something real bad. <laughs> I hate that you just said that. <laughs> Your boyfriend disciplines you for doing something real bad. Like, what? You're an adult. Anyway. Grow up. Grow up and get a freaking grip. <laughs> <laughs> so my heart instantly started beating faster and I felt kind of sick. He then explained, what have you spent $70 on? And I explained that I bought stuff for the weekend as well as some staple stuff. My brother and sister-in-law are providing food as well as snacks and soda. He was going on about it being a lot of money and that he didn't understand how I was even able to spend this much. Has he ever gone to a grocery store? Yeah, what? I explained to him that the prices are crazy right now and that just the milk, eggs, flour, and butter had been $14. Oh my god, That's I would like, expect 14 for all of I was going to say 30. <laughs> yeah. Milk, eggs, flour, and butter, all for $14? That's like the olden days. Yeah. Please. That's pre-COVID prices. Yeah. Okay. He then wrote that he felt that I was being rude and that I'm not respecting him, which I did not feel applied to my behavior whatsoever. I honestly feel like it was the complete opposite. I am now left with an awful feeling. My parents have always had a dynamic where my dad got mad at my mom when she spent money. I don't want this dynamic in my relationship and now I'm kind of afraid that we will end up like that. I realize that $70 is a lot of money, but that's honestly the times we are living in, at least where we live. Am I the asshole for spending the money? No. No. That's also really cheap. Yeah. I go to the store and spend $70 on just butter, girlfriend. <laughs> No, that's so true. But no, I mean, it's all relative to where you live. But yeah, like, I just think also like having a shared account for a boyfriend is a little much. Yeah. Like well, I get that you live together, but I'm just thinking like I wouldn't even do that if I'm married. <laughs> so. This one girl that I know bought a house and then her girlfriend moved in with her and they do this. Like they have a shared account where they each put in a certain amount of money every month and then they use that account to pay utilities and... And mm -hmm. house expenses and food and all that and she said that that works really well for them and they're not married either but they're just yeah. like in a committed relationship and living together yeah. so I to feel like it, their own yeah like it it could work but I don't think it's healthy that your boyfriend is like tracking your expenses every time you spend a little more than he wants you to yeah. Like, I don't think that's fair because half of that money is yours. Yeah. And you're for the food stuff, you're both sharing all of that. Right. So, like, why is he mad? Right. He's enjoying the cake and all that stuff, too. The spring rolls. Yeah, exactly. Please. And, like, is he mad because you're taking some of that food to your brother's house? Your brother is giving you food, too. I don't know. I feel like the boyfriend is just a little bit immature and maybe just a yeah. little bit selfish. Like, did he expect you to not contribute to the party like the snacks at the movie marathon party right and he just wanted your brother to pay for all of that and right. you to just pay nothing like I think you're just being a good friend and a good sister and a good team player yeah I don't love that your boyfriend is yelling at you for spending money especially because it's slightly traumatic to you because that's what your parents went through so if you feel that that's happening you need to sit your boyfriend down maybe at the kitchen table maybe it's when you guys are having a calm Wednesday night and you're like hey I just wanted to talk about the grocery thing yeah obviously we have this agreement I don't know did you want me to run that by you first like obviously I bought some stuff for the house some stuff for the movie marathon that we committed to. I don't want you to get upset, but I do also have to tell you that something that's important to me in my relationship is not stressing over money in this way. Yeah. Or not being yelled at by my partner every time I spend money. Right. And is there a way that we can avoid that? And if there's not a way that you can avoid that, I feel like, I mean, I wouldn't want to be with a person who yells at me every time I spend money. No, especially a seven, not trying to act like 70 isn't nothing, but like it could be so much worse in these times at the grocery store. Yeah. 
Definitely. I mean, she could have spent easily two hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and she went a little over that. You know, that's not nothing, but like it's also put things in perspective. Like, yeah, and it's also one time. Yeah, like it's not like you're doing this all the time, and he's never said anything, or it's not like he has asked you many times to like give him a heads up when you're spending more, or I don't know anything. Like he's just going straight into being mad the first time it happens. Yeah. Like maybe use open and honest communication for one. <laughs> That's like our theme of the day, I think. Every day, I think. Every day. Yeah. Striving to be open and honest. Exactly. With people that are close to us. Exactly. 